Welcome to this or that video series produced by UFIFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today we will look at two water birds often confused with one another, the Anhinga and the double crested cormorant. Both of these large water birds hunt for their prey, primarily fish, by diving underwater to catch them. Unlike most bird species, these birds' feathers are not waterproof and get completely wet when underwater. This helps them stay underwater and helps keep them streamlined. Because they lack waterproof feathers, both of these birds need to dry off in between hunts and can be seen perched with their wings outstretched. Here are a few tips to help you identify these anglers from a distance. Let's begin with their beaks. The Anhinga's beak is very sharp, tapering to a point. They use this adaption so they can spear fish underwater. The cormorant's beak, on the other hand, is thicker and ends in a sharp hook so it can effectively grab and hold on to its prey. The tail tells all, that is, if you can see it. The Anhinga has a long, thin tail with banded tips, and the cormorant has a shorter, blunt tail. Watching these birds swim can also help you tell them apart. The Anhinga only reveals its head and neck above water. This behavior gave the Anhinga the nickname of snake bird because of its head and neck looking similar to a snake while swimming at the surface. The cormorant swims more like a duck with head, neck, and back above water. You can also look at the bird's feathers to tell them apart. While both birds air out their wings, look at the coloring. The Anhinga's back feathers are intermixed with black and white, while the cormorant's back feathers are all black. So remember, the Anhinga has a spear for a beak and surfaces like a snake, and the cormorant hooks its prey with its thick bill and swims more like a duck. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your Pinellas County Extension Services.